see any uh, indicators on this. How's it going? Good. Good. Are you are you state patrollers? Oh, you're still. This is a still plate car. Still now. Plate, I'm just looking where the identifier was uh, to indicate, sir. Stop. He just ran away. RCW four six zero eight dot zero six five. They're not supposed to have patrol cars that are completely unmarked. And it's actually a safety issue, you know, if you get stopped late at night or something like that, how do you know it's a police officer? Well, the answer is you don't. Now, he just ran away when I asked him a question. So we're gonna go over. Just nicely. Look at this. This is so late police. He's just running away. My gosh. Ridiculous. Just follow the law, guys. Just follow the law. Show some respect authority for the people you serve. He's doing loop-de-loops all over. It's quite an event. Do you guys have the marking on the car no. that indicates? Okay, Gavin, just so you know, you're being, you're being recorded. Absolutely, okay. no problem. What's now, your name? Now twice. Yeah. I'm trying to do an investigation and you interrupted me on it. How about we talk about you? No, Let's talk no, about I'm this. I'm telling you. How does it make you feel? My, uh, investigation. What investigation? Right Wait a minute. You you were done talking to those young men? No. Did you see them walking up here? I'm trying to get confidential informants so, to talk to me and you keep interrupting Maybe that. if you hadn't ran away when I asked you a no. question, it wouldn't have so been a problem. You're going to be in, in, investigating or in, interrupting my investigation, okay? Actually, what... You're obstructing my investigation. Oh, let's you quit playing leave. games with me, Ryan. You can leave. Answer... Okay, why is... Why can are you I guys get, not in why can I go my police, You can answer my question. Can I go in the police department? Can you answer the question? No. Where's the chief? He is here on Monday through Wednesday. Why are you in violation of state law? Well, you guys are not supposed to have a completely unmarked car. It's a safety issue because... Exempt place. No, no, no. Do you, are you familiar with, with Washington Sir? State Law? So I'm going to shut the door. RCW 4608.065. Okay, we can go in here and talk about it. It's cool. You cannot come in here. This is restricted. Whoa there. This is restricted. Where does it say restricted? This is restricted. Is this open to the public? No, it is not. Is it a public Move building? Your foot, sure. Can you just answer Move why we did? Just shirt. tell me why it's not marked. Talk to the chief on Monday. You tell me why it's Talk not to marked. Talk the chief on Monday. Sir, please move your foot. What happens if I don't? Move your foot, sir. Is this a public building? I'm going to ask you, please. No, the in here is not a public. Okay, let, let's this let's make an agreement. I'm going to ask you, please, if you honestly, if you just tell me why it's not marked. Is there a, is there a reason it's not marked? Talk to the chief. He makes. Do you understand that there's marks. a state law that says it has to be marked? He understands that there, and he makes a decision. He understands that there's a state law about it, but you guys aren't in compliance ask with him. it. I don't speak for him. How does it make you feel that you guys aren't in compliance with the law? Does that bother you? Can you move your foot, please, sir? Does that bother you? I'm How does that make you one feel? Last time, and then I'm going to escort you off the premises. Okay, I just want an answer to this my question. Is a restricted area. I, I don't. I'm not this, in the. I'm not this, in that area. If you have police business. This you can conduct. You. I do can you talk, realize how unprofessional it is that you ran away you from window. me when I walked up to you? I can talk to you. At the when window. I walked up to you to answer your question, had you, you answered window. my question back at the grocery store? Gavin, we wouldn't have had an issue. To, can we talk to the window? Can, we, can we if talk you to, come out here, I'm not going to have walk, you running away. Okay. You're trying to run away. Talk to you at the window. You come out I here with talk me. Talk to you at the window. Wow, there. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, there's no point in continuing to uh, to fight with them about it. Uh, they're clearly in compliance. They've admitted that they're not in compliance. Uh oh, the troops are coming in. Let's see if this one's marked. This one say, wow, this one's not marked either. Come on. Sir.
sir. Yeah, uh, your vehicle, are you aware that it's not marked as a patrol car? Thank you. Are you aware of that? Thank you. Are you aware that according to Washington state law, you guys need to have it marked? Look, he's in the mayor parking only. I guess, I guess if you're a police officer, that doesn't count. Um, wow. And this is, it's actually concerned me a couple of times because I've seen these, they got these fancy new cars. This is, we're talking a little tiny podunk little town, guys. And they got these new rigs all of a sudden, no markings. In the RCW, it's very clear that there has to be a marking of some kind. Nothing here. I mean, I'm going all around the car looking for some sort of marking. I don't see anything. So there we are. Continued disrespect over and over and over again. This little town of Soap Lake, Washington, it's all over the place. It's all over America. Folks, it's not about one little isolated incident. We have got to start standing up. We've got to start demanding accountability of our officials. This town, I mean, these guys, they run around and pull people over and write people tickets. That's what the police do in Soap Lake. I've come in here and actually questioned the chief before, and he threatened to trespass me from the property because he didn't want to ask, answer my questions. And it's, it's lawlessness. It's lawlessness that should not be tolerated from our public officials. Window down. Down. Officer Cox, roll down your window, please. At least enough so I can speak. I'm knocking, but no one's answering, guys. Hello? Anybody home? My knuckles are going to get sore here. This is crazy. I'm trying to just... Maybe you won't run away this time. I think this is the appropriate way to knock on a window. It's the only way I know how. Officer! Officer! Well, I can't try all day, can I? We tried. Trying to get some questions answered. You ain't gonna get no questions for him. Well, he should. He works for us. He works for, he works for us, not you. No, he works for. He swore an oath to the Constitution. He works for everybody. This is harassment right here. You know. This is a fucker. This no, he's in violation. Are you familiar with Washington State law? Yes, I am. For RCW four six zero eight zero six five. The reason I was questioning, it wouldn't have been an issue. He ran away from me when I was down at the store. Yeah, because you keep Just harassing. Him. No, no, no. Are you? Are you recording? Absolutely, yeah. He, he, he ran away when I, he ran away when I was down at the store and, and because he doesn't he doesn't have to answer any of them. oh absolutely he, he he answers to we the people and he answers to the law no, because and to the constitution he's just an officer he's just doing his job and no, you no, want no. to fucking come over here and harass him man you, you guys you guys are going to embarrass yourselves here if no, you don't no I'm not embarrassed ourselves so you're, you're what's, what's your name well what's your name I'm not telling you my I'm name, telling you my name. You that's cool no you have that right that's fine my name's Gavin by the way that's nice that's nice yeah I don't care what you and you guys you guys are private citizens I wouldn't have confronted you he's not a private citizen he works for me he works for you he doesn't work and for you absolutely he does he works no, for everybody he work for you. Positive. he works for you like honestly yeah does he, he do does you pay he him honestly, like, do you pay him to oh absolutely I pay him I pay him with my taxes yeah that's okay with your taxes we pay him with our taxes too absolutely but you know what he keeps us citizens safe no, safety is safety is he not is breaking safe, the law safe, safety is not your concern probably what you're gonna say huh? Sa no safety is not breaking the law safety is following the constitution it's following the law and it's following do you realize do you, what, what, is, what law is he breaking do you want do you want to give me a chance to tell you about it no because this is fucking harassment this is my friend here that's okay I don't if, if, if it's your friend you should be challenging him on the fact that no, he's disrespecting the people you. you're, you're disrespecting people coming out here with your fucking camera man yeah call it what you will that's okay. No, I'm fine. I was recording him. I wasn't out here to record in, you guys. Why don't you get in your fucking car and get out of here? Why can't you get in your car and get out of here and leave people alone? It's because of you people. We fucking have such problems in this town. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Because of my... What people? Because of you. Because, because of me. Of your kind of people. 
Do you do you, do you know the Constitution? Do you respect the Constitution? I don't know the Constitution. You know, I'm let gonna, me give you a copy. I don't want the fucking copy, bro. Don't you know this is your liberty, guys? You know what? How old are you? Do they? Do, I know they don't age. That's okay. Our name, that's okay. Where we're from or anything? Just, yeah. If you're gonna make the, if you're gonna, if you want to make it more. Okay. This constitution right here, guys. Your, I don't care about your fucking right. constitution in your hand. Man. Fuck the constitution. Fuck it. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way, but why, why don't you just like take you know what? Yeah. Take a shit, wipe it. Wipe I it. I don't care oh, if you guys like it or not. It's the law, and it will be followed in this country. Okay. Well, you know what? You can uh, follow your ass in your car and get the fuck out of here because you're just causing problems. Okay. Move on, guys. No, we're not gonna move on. This is fucked up. What you're doing? Mm -hmm. Who do Who do you think you are? I'm asking questions of my police. All right. You're police, man. You're fucking harassing them. No, I have a business in, in yeah, this area. I have a business right here confronting you about bullshit. Okay. It's, it, sorry, guys. It's not BS. I'm just asking that it the lobby fall. We would, me and Ryan would have had a polite conversation if you had not run no. away. No, you and Ryan, we, we fucking heard you, man. Yeah, we, we heard you. Yeah. You're knock, knock, knock. Him. That's Anybody because home? he Anybody continually home? ignored me, guys. He was running away. You guys have a good day, all right? Have a good day. All right, you guys have a good day. Man, it's a shame that people don't understand how important their liberty is, guys. And think about this, look at this. This is this is what we're getting. If, if people don't understand that we, we have to hold government accountable, that liberty matters, and that they have to follow the law, we're toast. That's all. We're toast. Was it, was it rude, was it disrespectful for me to knock on the officer's window after he ran away after I had to chase him down to get a question, after he acknowledged that he was in violation of Washington state law, yet refused to answer any questions as to why, after he tried to slam the door on my foot, after he said he would come to the window and talk to me and refused, after the other officer ignored me and blatantly walked away from me, he came out and get in his car. This is, this is lawlessness. And it's time we started demanding respect. Take care guys. really saddens me even more than the police is these these young men here that you know it's my friend they don't care about the constitution they don't care about the law now that that's sad so it seems we got the corrupt small town police chief the corrupt officers and then the the gangbanger buddies that uh, are friends with the police that are trying to uh, protect their interests, I guess. Corruption runs all the way down to our small communities. And it has to be called out. We gotta educate people, we gotta inform people. I didn't really wanna take on the those, those, those guys. Not because I was afraid of their facts, but because I always try and hold the public officials accountable and let the citizenry see by example, talk to them about the issues, but I'd rather not have a confrontation with the individual private citizen and things like this. Couldn't help it because they charged right up to me, started swearing and calling me names because I deigned to question their friend. Did you also notice how the officer, when those guys came over and confronted me and were being aggressive with me, he took off. I mean, I, I, was, I was concerned that they were going to try and attempt to give me the beat down or something, and he just slipped away. Now, I emphasize the word attempt there, but when he should have at least stayed there to observe, due to the aggressive nature of these guys, he just took off. <laughs>